Hello, my name's Dr. Bernadine Atkinson and you probably won't have heard of me before, but I want to share with you some very important information for the development and strengthening of the Australian nation. In the course of my doctoral research, I had to investigate the nuclear power alternative for Australia. And in so doing, I discovered that the entire nation has been hoodwinked and duped in a story that will probably eclipse the Trojan horse saga. In my work, which you can find if you go to www.specialistwritingservices.com, you will find access to a book called Nuking the World or a PDF document called New Definitions. And in those stories, I have documented the eight significant lies that have been used to take uranium from Australia for very little money and enable other nations, the acquisitive nations, to have clean, safe electrical energy for thousands of years. Now, nuclear science is a scary science for some people, but I've actually tried to build a bridge from that science into everyday language so that you will read this material and understand that complex science. It's actually quite simple. When you do so, if you're like me and a genuine Australian, you will be very concerned and you will want to take political action to make sure that this sort of duping can never happen to us again. I also have on the website a, a draft document called a constitution for an independent alliance for Australia. I've provided that for you to look at an alternative because really what enterprise would allow 49% of its people to oppose the, the majority of 51%. Divide and rule does not strengthen nations. We need a united, independent alliance able to go to our federal parliament and petition funds for what local people need. We also need to reinstitute government-owned essential services. We need that to provide really good careers for our bright young people. We need security of income. We also need to avoid having all our profits go offshore. Because when they do, what happens? Governments have to increase taxes. You'll find that this carbon tax idea is only going to hurt Australians. It's going to cause us um, to have to pay more for, for the critical essential services that we need. That's not going to be a solution. Nor is wind power and nor is solar power. They have uses, sure, but they're limited uses. Nuclear power is clean and safe and sustainable. Even though in Japan right now we've had a horrendous accident, let me put it to you, if that had been gas infrastructure, would scientists be able to get back in there and repair the damage? No, the, it would be a cataclysmic disaster. Nuclear power over the last 40 years has been managed safely in many locations around the world. Australians are the last people to know about it. We're the last people to know about it because we have, uh, we have had plentiful reserves of that precious commodity. We're not using any for ourselves, we haven't retained any. My case is uh, detailed in the work I've described in the, in the PDF document called New Definitions and in a book published in Canada called Nuking the World. I urge you, if you care about this nation, if you care about security of employment, if you care about prosperity for future generations, this is critical information that every Australian should know, read, understand and then act on. I just urge you, go to that website, link up to the publishers in Canada or download that PDF document. I actually staked my life on this. My life was threatened. This, this information, there are people who wanted no Australians to know about it. 
I've also borrowed a lot of money to do this work for you. So I'm genuine and I just hope that you will become as informed as me and then start working together to strengthen this nation. Please go to specialistwritingservices.com and you'll find that information. Thank you.